Call it the changing face of cancer. HPV now drives upwards of 70% of cancers of the throat, tongue, and tonsils. For years, the top instigator was tobacco. As number of cases began to rise, the patient profile changed. Oftentimes, these cancers aren't in people that smoke. So we kind of investigated why are these people getting these cancers, and the link was HPV. Another new twist in HPV-induced oral cancer is age. It makes up a younger patient population compared to head and neck cancers in the past. Nowadays, 40s, some 30s, uh, rarely less than that, but mostly 40s, 50s, and some 60s, rarely older than that. But that's the main thing there, is that they're in younger people. Finding cancer in younger people is more of an uphill battle. They're typically healthier and less likely to seek attention for minor changes. With no clinical screening test, it's important to give any symptoms a heads up. Pain in the throat, sore throat, difficulty swallowing that does not go away after two or three weeks. Pain in the ear that is unexplained. Lumps in the neck, adults are not supposed to have lumps in their neck. The only positive to speak of is that HPV-linked oral cancers seem to respond better. As we've continued to study this, we found that when these patients do get this cancer, their survival is uh, better and, and treatment seems to work better than them for whatever reason. The key is to be on the lookout for symptoms and check them out. The earlier the cancer is caught, the better the outcomes. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.